Hey, Harry, come on in. Here, take a look at my artificial intelligence code. It takes your voice command and responds back. It is very similar to the Iron Man Jarvis program you have seen in the movies, but much simpler. Wow, Sonia, that sounds very interesting. But how did you do it? You make it seem so effortless. It is indeed very easy and simple, and anyone can do this. You can do it in 5 minutes or less if you have Python 3 installed in your computer, because my program is coded in Python and it's pretty fun. Here, take a closer look at my computer screen, and I'll show you. Hello? Hello, you look great. Good morning. Good morning, how are you? So as you can see, the program has already started taking my commands and it is responding me back. You might have noticed that it takes a couple of seconds for Google speech recognition and Google text to speech to listen to your commands and respond back and you will need internet connection for the Google speech recognition to work. So without internet connection, this program will not work. But as soon as you see the talk now sign and you are properly connected to the internet, you can immediately start talking to it according to the commands you have uh, entered in your program and it will immediately respond back to you. Here is my complete Jarvis artificial intelligence code. As you can see, it is only 21 lines of code, so it's very, very short, simple, and easy. I recommend you download the code from the Cool Inventor website and run in Python 3. Downloading and running is the main thing. You can customize any of these code later on if you like. All the comments are here in red, so you can read these comments to understand how each of these codes uh, are working. The first part of the code is the while loop, which is continuously listening for your speech. The second part is where you are setting your microphone as the source, and it is listening to your speech and storing it in audio. In the second part, it's recognizing that speech from the audio. In the next part is the Google text-to-speech. This is the part where the machine is giving you a response back based on the speech that it recognized in the first portion of the code. For example, if it hear, hears hello in the message or in your message, then it will give you this response back. So right now this is in text format, so this is when Google text-to-speech will take this text and convert it back through uh, Google text-to-speech into a speech format. And then it's taking that speech and saving it in a specific location in your computer as an mp3 file. It just plays that mp3 file through the mixer over here based on what you're asking. You can copy and paste the script into your Python editor and run or you can type from scratch to get a better understanding. The only thing that you should be changing in this code is the location where you're saving your mp3 file. So for example, in my case I have sa saved it at this location. You can also customize these comments however you like. You can add more jokes, comments, stories to surprise your audiences. So to add more responses from the machine, simply copy the code and paste it with a different response. So I'll just copy it, go to the next line and paste it here. And here you can change what message the user will be asking and what message the machine will be giving you and where it will be saving it. So it's very simple to do. 
When you run the program for the first time, you might get some errors. And the errors might look like this. It might say that you don't have any module named speech recognition. Or it might say you don't have GTTS, no module named GTTS. Or it might say that you don't have any module named PyGame or you don't have Pi Audio. So to solve that error, it's very simple to solve it. You go to Start and go to the location where your Python is installed and by default it's installed in your C drive. So go to your C drive, go to Users, your username, App Data, Local, Programs, Python. I'm going, I have different versions of Python. I'll go to the first one, click on Scripts, and then highlight this area. Click on that, type CMD, and it should open up this window. So whatever module you don't have, you just install it through pip. So type pip install speech recognition and this should install that speech recognition module. Similarly type pip install pygame and it should install that required module for you. And once you have installed those modules, just go to your program. So I'll undo this. And then once you run it, it should run and it should start asking you for your commands. So now when you say hello, it should give you a response back. If you say something that it can't understand, it should give you a message that it could not understand. So as you can see, it's a very, very simple script. So this artificial intelligence code is extremely easy to play around with and it's highly educational as this is a popular technology for everyone. Best of all, you can customize it and make it sound funny, scary, or even like the AI futuristic machines you have seen in the movies. Wow, I will definitely give this a try tomorrow with my loudspeaker and customize some of the comments with some scary statements as a Halloween joke. Great experiment, Sonia.